Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be discussing five ways that we can make Hidon a stronger character, a stronger Akatsuki member, and a stronger Shinobi all around. Uh, let's get right into the video. Come on, let's experience the ultimate pain together. <laughs> For the first part of the video, I'm gonna discuss Hidon's backstory a little bit. He's from a village known as Yugurku, which his village got turned into a tourist site, which, you know, as anybody would be, he was not happy about it. Um, so he, he, took, he took matters in his own hands. He went and killed every single one of his neighbors, his family members, and other people just surrounding the village. After that, he went off on his own and he found these group, this group of people and they supported a religion known as Joshinism. He got really involved and joined the cult. And then as he grew to learn about it, he knew that the belief of Joshinism was that everybody should die and that there was a belief of all right destruction and everything should be destroyed eventually. But as he grew in the ranks in Joshinism, he started experimenting with Joshinism and he found a way that he became immortal. He became immortal as a gift from Joshin after a few of the experiments, but it all led out to him being one of the greatest characters in Naruto. Alright guys, let's get into the top five. Here we go. Number one. Alright guys, for the first way to make him better, I had the idea that a change of personality would make him a better character and a better shinobi all around as he's very, very impulsive, and he's very sarcastic. Those are good traits in some ways, but it also got him killed. Well, killed, as some of you wanna say. I personally believe that he's still alive, but but let's get right back to it. Um, he needs to start thinking things through more. If he would've thought the, fought, the fight with Shikamaru and Asuma through more, he would've had more ways to kill them in the end and survive the fight and the battle. But his his personality got in the way of that because he, he thought that, oh, I have immortality, so I'm not gonna die, but they are. And so he got very impulsive with it and jumped right into it without thinking things through, which that got him, he got him killed. And he just needs to take time, stop, think about it, and maybe be more serious about what he's doing as he is part of a group known as the Akatsuki, which they have a bigger goal. And if you're a person of a group that has a bigger goal, you should try to be serious also. But you know, there's always those stragglers or those people that are trying to be class clowns, which he don't was. But if he would have a change in personality, I think it would improve his statistics and his ability to be a good character a whole lot more. But uh, that's it for the first one. Let's go to the second one. Number two. Guys, for the second one, he could practice Buki Jutsu, or the ability to wield weapons more. As you know, he has his scythe, he has his big old scythe that he likes to use in battle, and he's really good at throwing it, he's really good at spinning it and cutting people with it. But if he practiced it more, he could use and wield more weapons at, at one time. Like as Madara uses the fan, and the scythe also. But if he had multiple ways like a kunai, or um, there's certain ways that you can like throw and then get blood extracted, extracted. But like, if there's more weapons that he can wield, or if he can find another way to get the blood from the enemies to be able to do his ritual, it would make him a whole lot better and a whole lot harder to beat. Because, you know, if you have more kunai coming at you while there's a giant dude with a freaking axe coming at you, you know, you're going to be trying to run away or you're going to you're gonna break down in the fight. But if he had more ways to attack and he had more practice with Buki Jutsu, he would be able to overpower and outsmart his opponents even with his stupid personality. And, you know, and it just make it would make him a better character and it would make him more powerful to do that and a good a good weapon that i have that he could use is a sword like you know sasuke's sword and just have it 
in the back or something somewhere close to him where he can just if he gets up close like he can throw the axe pull it back and then they're gonna dodge the axe but he's got the sword right there and game over he's got your blood sacrifice to joshin all right guys that's it for the second one let's go to the third one number three all right guys for the third way to improve heat on as a shinobi and make him stronger is that he could wear armor I know not many shinobi wear armor anymore, and it's kind of disappointing. If you look at Toby Rama, look, Fat Kage made a great point. Madara, Toby Rama, uh, Hashimura, they all wore armor, but you don't see anybody wearing armor now. I think that if Heon wore armor, it would it would it wouldn't slow him down because look at his speed; he's super fast. But another thing is, it would make it harder to penetrate his get to his actual skin to cut off parts of his body where he would have to take time for Kakazu to reattach it or some way to be reattached. Like in the battle, if he would have wore a neck brace or something, his neck would have never got chopped off. So he would have been able to keep on fighting alongside Kakazu. But since he doesn't, he has a bunch of blind spots and blind spots are very bad in Naruto because if you have a blind spot, they're going to find it and they're going to abuse it. So if he had armor to cover up his back, to cover up his legs, to cover up the sides that he can't see at all times, it would make him a greater and harder to beat character. And it would just make him stronger all around as a character in Aruto. But it, it could also be bad for him because, you know, armor, they lock in place or they, they mess around. And I mean, I did say he was pretty fast, but it could slow him down a little bit. But, you know, it's a give or take. You lose a little bit of speed, you gain a lot of durability. And I think it would be great for Heat On as a character. All right, guys, that was it for number three. Let's get on to number four. Hey, guys, I just wanted to stop and say that if you've made it this far through the video, that maybe you should consider subscribing or at least giving a thumbs up on the video and or turning on post notifications to see every time that I post. Uh, thanks, guys. Number four. Right, so for the fourth one, I think it'd be very beneficial to heat on to learn a wind style jutsu and preferably the jutsu similar to Tamari. Tamari uses the fan and that's very similar to the heat on the axe. It just, it's not as wide, but if he don't learn wind style jutsu, he could learn jutsu where he could spin his fan and push his opponents away or dismember them or, you know, even like throw them off, knock them unconscious, get blood that way and just wait for him to wake up because, you know, he likes to torture people. But if he learned, if he learned something like that, wind style jutsu also helps with agility. So partnered with the armor and wind style, it would be able to get up, keep him at the same speed which that would be very beneficial because he would, you know, have less blind spots and he would be faster on his feet to be able to go and attack the enemies. But with the wind style jutsu, he could throw his enemies off cliffs or throw them around and just mess with them more because you know that's who he is. But it'd also make him more powerful in the long run, which that's why I think the wind style jutsu would be a good thing for Hidon to learn to make him a better character. All right, that's it for number four. On to number five. Last but not least, number five. All right, guys. For the fifth one, I think Hidon could benefit from having a regenerative ability. Like, he could use part of White Zetsu as Obito or Tobi, how, however you want to call him, uh, as he did, and put it on his neck and his vulnerable spots that normally get cut off when he's in a fight. It'd be very beneficial because... He, he wouldn't have to depend on Kakazu or someone to be there to stick it back on. He wouldn't have to lose part of his limbs or his neck or <laughs> wherever, and he wouldn't have to wait to get back up to attack. It would just be an instant regen, and it would make him pretty much indestructible, and Shikamaru would have never been able to blow him up. He, it would have been his neck, and his body would have regenerated from his neck down like the demons do in Demon Slayer. And it's just it's just a great ability that any character could benefit from having, but I think it would primarily help uh, Hidon just 
glow as a character and grow and make make him more powerful and become the most powerful Akatsuki member. So that's just my opinion. Um, thanks guys for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe, drop a like, comment, give me ideas or comment your favorite Akatsuki member that you would like to see in the next video that I'll be doing over the next week or so. But uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, peace.